Hey y'all, it's Alex from You Should Craft, and today I'll show you how to DC two together and DC three together. So right now, this is just a little swatch of double crochet. So I chained 10, each of these rows has nine double crochets in it, but this is just for practicing, so it doesn't really matter what you start with. So to do, I'll start with the DC two together. It's gonna look, it's gonna start off the same as a normal double crochet. So I've yarned over, I'm inserting my hook into both loops, yarning over, pulling up a loop, yarning over and pulling through two loops. But here's where it gets different. So now I've got two loops left on my hook. If I was doing one double crochet, I would just yarn over and pull through these loops. But I want to start a second double crochet. So I'm yarning over, I'm inserting my hook into the next stitch, yarning over, pulling up a loop, yarning over, and pulling through two loops. So now I have like two half double crochets next to each other and I've got three loops on my hook. So this is the DC two together and that's because I've got two double crochets and now here when I yarn over and pull it all through I'll be finishing those stitches but I'll only have one like V at the top of my work. So again here's the DC two together yarn over insert my hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Here's my first double crochet, like half, three quarters. <laughs> so yarning over again, inserting my hook, and this is the next stitch now. And then again, here's another like partial double crochet. So now to finish it all off, I yarn over and pull through all of the loops. So it looks like I've got two double crochets here still, but on top, I only have the top of one stitch. So that's why they're together. Because before I had nine stitches in this row, and let's finish off with one more double crochet two together and then we can see where we're at. So I'll talk you through this last one too. Inserting my hook. I've already yarned it over now I'm inserting. Yarning over again and pulling up that first loop. Yarning over, pulling through two loops. So this is like two thirds of a double crochet. Now I'll yarn over and insert my hook into that last stitch. Yarn over, pull through two loops. So here I've got two, like two third finished double crochets and three loops on my hook. So to finish off that DC two together, I just pull through everything. And now I still have like one chain here to use. just I'm just doing a regular normal like double crochet but so now if you count like the stitches how they look at the bottom I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine like before but if we count the V's at the top of like our finished stitches I've only got one two three four five six so it's three less, and that's because I had three DC two together or DC two TOG stitches. So I'm gonna chain two, yarn over and turn, and this is not like to be a real pattern or anything. So I've just got 
I've got my chain and a double crochet. And now I'm going to DC these next three stitches together. So I've yarned over. I'm inserting my hook. Remember, this is a DC three together. So it looks very similar. I'm yarning over, pulling up those next two loops. And here's my two thirds of a double crochet. Same thing in the next stitch. So yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up two loops. Here again is a two thirds double crochet. Now I've got two. So for the DC two together, I would just pull through all these loops and be done. But for the DC three together, we need one more. So yarning over, inserting my hook into the next stitch, yarning over, pulling up a loop, yarning over, pulling through two. So now I have three like two third finish double crochets. So I can yarn over and pull through all four of the loops that were on my hook and that's it. So now I've just got like one stitch left in this row so I'll just do a regular double crochet. So you might be wondering why you would need to do these decreasing stitches, the DC two togethers and the DC three togethers. And I already kind of spoiled it, but it's for decreasing potentially. Um, so you might use it in shaping, like in garments, you might use it to crochet shapes like a triangle or like a trapezoid could have some decreases. Um, you might also use it if you were making like a big shawl. Sometimes those like triangular shawls start out with, you know, like a lot of stitches and then they get smaller as they go. Other times you might decrease in one space and increase in another space. Like it, you can use the decreases for a lot of different things. But it looks like I can show you one more DC three together since you've only seen one. But this is the same concept. So like a DC four together would look the same. Um, same with like a DC five together. You just keep doing those like two third double crochets. So here I only have three stitches left. Well, I guess I have four. Okay, so I'll chain two. I've turned and now I'm inserting my hook, yarning over, pulling through two loops. Here's one two thirds double crochet, yarn over, insert hook, yarn over to pull up a loop, yarn over to pull through two loops. Now I've got two two third double crochets and here's my last one from my DC three together. So here's one, two, three, like two third double crochets. I'll yarn over and pull through everything. And so you can see now I've kind of made like, mm, I, triangle's like a pretty generous label for it, but I've made kind of a triangly type <laughs> shape. Definitely triangle adjacent. It's bigger on the bottom, gets smaller at the top. So this is something that you might use like say that you were making like a bikini cup, you could definitely use like this kind of strategy. Like I said, you might use them to decrease like to get up like around the shoulders on a sweater or something. Totally up to you. But that's it. So hopefully this tutorial for how to DC two together and DC three together has been helpful for your crochet journey. Be sure to subscribe to the You Should Craft channel and check out the You Should Craft blog for more um, crochet patterns and tutorials. Thank you for watching.